That's right. It's more of B. It had to be. Welcome back to the Age of Empires 4 action. I, I couldn't resist this. We just watched a game between B and Kiljardi on Gorge, and that was phenomenal. But I've been guaranteed this one on Canal is just as absurd. B in the orange is going to be playing as the Abbasid Dynasty. Meanwhile, Kiljardi picks a Sif that can also dominate here on a water map, a water hybrid map. It is, of course, the Japanese in the purple. Let's get to it, folks. To very talented, very aggressive players. B, definitely one of the OG aggressors, it feels like, in Age of Empires 4. A very talented player, no doubt about it. But Kiljardi, a rising star, one that has kill in the name because he's always looking to kill in the game. Let's see what can happen here. Opening dock is already going to be coming out from Kiljardi. Interesting choice, actually, in this matchup that he chose to go for the dock first instead of trying to fast feudal into dock denial. B, on the other side of this, well, it looks like we are going to be getting a fast feudal for the Abbasids. I imagine we're looking at military wing to open this, so this is already a peculiar start. I think it's because B doesn't believe he can contest Shinobi, and he's maybe assuming that this is a fast feudal age, because right now the meta on water hybrid maps for the Japanese is to rush feudal to block water play by your opponent. Because if you rush feudal age and you get Shinobi out, you're able to start sabotaging their dock by the time they reach Feudal, and they're never able to get any sort of defensive vessel out. So, may seem a bit weird by B, but realistically, it's a smart play. I think he could have actually set up a dock really close to the shore here and started to pump. And the reason that that's fine is most sieves are just going to play fishing regardless on this map, right? So, if that's the case and it works for most sieves, surely for a sieve that pays 75 wood, it makes sense to drop a safe dock and then just build one naturally where you would later on anyway, as you need to. But instead, he just has no interest at all. Wait. He wouldn't. There's no way he would. Okay. <laughs> I had to check. In fairness... It's probably a good idea that he didn't go trade wing. I think right now, canal trade wing just doesn't work because the map's a bit inconsistent. Uh, sometimes you get double trade post spawn. Sometimes you get single. And if a single, it's very blockable as a play. So probably a good idea that he didn't go in for the trade wing in this game. Instead, it is going to be the melee wing opening. There's other side, this Kiljardi already having three ships. About to add in the fourth. Going to be slow on his tech timing, but only two spim and two archers. He shouldn't be so slow that he's hurt by this choice to go fishing first. And I'm just looking at the resource spawns. Double gold on the starting island is some seriously good RNG. I mean, it's a small difference in distance, right? But it's still beneficial. It's much easier to reach. I mean, the reality of what you've got here for Kiljardi, he can just outpost one location and protect 8k gold, which I don't like the fact that it spawns like this. I don't think this should ever be allowable. I almost feel like there should be a hard code restriction that gold and stone is limited to one stack on your starting island. The whole point of the design of Canal is to force you to come out of your base. Well, Kiljali is going to be coming out of his base quickly in Feudal Age. Koka Township on the way. Other side of this, B is now moving out with Villager. This is going to be an aggro dock drop, isn't it? Timing does favor him here. Theoretically. He doesn't have mill though, right? No, no wheelbarrow. That's way too late with the wheelbarrow. So instead... Has he got something up? No. No, I think he's just going wide. As that's, there's no way he's going to sneak into the base and then drop a dock right here. But that would be one hell of a gamble. And one of a genius move. But unfortunately for him, if that is the plan, if anything like that's the plan, the scout's going to see him. And folks, Kiljardi is about to have a Shinobi in about 10 seconds. Wow, it's a proxy Rax. With double wolf? Oh my god. The the unluck, the misfortune here for B. Not only getting scouted, but hit by double wolf here. I mean, the racks theoretically should go up, but the fact it gets scouted now with the Shinobi coming, instant Shinshin -shin here. Kiljani knows it's just all about timing now. And folks, he's going to get there. This is not going to work. B. Not only might he just miss out on getting the racks up at all, he just might end up losing the villager as well. Spearman Archer's on the way, but I think this is the missed trick. B, jump the gun with this. Kiljardi. Should just be a sabotage. There we go. Burns it. If he moves past, if he wastes the Shinshin, he can actually kill the archers here. 
So he baits them past. Ram being built by B. What is this game? Okay, this is danger territory for B. Toon Shinobi can actually just snipe you down the arches. So construction complete. B, he needs the level to upgrade the spears to even start. He needs to actually start pumping spears. I think archery range should have been the priority here. But was this a bait? Kiljardi, he's going to sabotage one building, but will he sabotage the second? Should be able to. The Sabo coming through. Kujadi backs away. I think he's going to allow for the Ram because the, the Ram feels like an overinvestment by B. He needs to shut down the food, but the reality is that the difference maker it is, is Kiljardi can get up to four Shinobi before you're able to start pumping arches. And that could just be a GG to this push. Kujadi moving in now. Shin Shin should be activated in a sec. Instead, he dives in. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Ram's going to be garrisoned by B. And I love this. He's kicking it with the Shinobi. <laughs> stabby, stabby. Archers are brought low. One is going to go down. So good start to this. Sabotage did come out. So the Camel Archer can't be built. Has he done this? I think he might have. Spearmen are dying. Remember, Spearmen, they will not win that fight. Plus five damage and 25 per strike for the Shinobi. And the chase continues. He's got enough to sabotage both of these. B. If he could just get one Camel Archer... It all would have been fine, but instead, you get nothing, sir. Kiljardi now has the sabotage to lock this play out. B. Wait, Kiljardi? I, I think this is a mistake focusing on the ram here. I, you should not even allow a single camel archer out. So he's running back now. There we go. Sabotage just in the nick of time. Whew. Four seconds. Camel's like, I'm waiting to be born, guys. C can I come up? No. Ram does get rid of the dock. New dock coming from Kiljardi, though. Behind this, B now moving in for fishing himself. But the problem is if that archer ship just goes upriver like it should, I don't think you get this dock play. And in fact, Kiljardi, he did just get a glimpse of that with a scout. Pumba? Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 what? No, no, no. no. Stop. 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 <laughs> oh my god! Pumba's sinking the fishing! He's like, I'm the best type of food! Why won't you fish me? <laughs> That's two fishing boats! It's gonna be free. He's. <gasps> Kill Johnny! Saved by the gathering. Oh my god. <laughs> Camel Archer now able to get out. They're going to start clearing up the Shinobi. However, Kiljardi immediately moves into the Yumi Ashigaru. And this game is insane already. Triple the archery range from B here. Adding in more Camel Archers. What? I, I mean, this just doesn't make sense to me. Like, you know, the, the reality is Yumi destroy you here. Yumi have more range. Yumi can... Chase down quite well. They have 1.38 movement speed compared to your 1.62. I feel like playing archers makes more sense, no? Like B, if he goes archers here, he gets boot camp. And if you have boot camp, you trade better against Yumi. Even better than you would in a one-on-one. -on -one. Instead, it feels like he's just a step behind. Now B, he is going into the Springle ship. That's going to be coming out soon. But the sabotage! Oh, no. Yeah, we talked about a C-section for the camels. Can we get a, can we get a C-section for the Bagla? <laughs> Someone just like dunk the building and allow, allow the half completed structure to come out. Spiral ship also on the way from Kiljardi, as well as that archer ship. Archer ship which is now targeting into the camel archer mass. He does snipe out the Shinobi, so B technically has a way of trying to recover here, but this is difficult, man. I mean you're already disadvantaged, right? Spiral ship versus Spiral ship and Archer ship. I don't know why the ship is turning there. The, the, wait, what? It's trying to attack the camel archers still. Okay, so there we go. It does come out. B. We'll target down the archer ship. Now, this should make it obvious to kill Jardy. There's a the demo ship on the way. Let's see if he's able to read it. In the meantime, camel archers, because they now get an even numbers exchange, they are going to beat back the Yumi. I, I somehow feel like kill Jardy shouldn't be in this position right now, right? Like, this is kind of crazy that the B is making mass camel archers work with zero fishing. He is running out of berries soon, but, like, realistically, 
I think Kiljardi misstepped here. When he went in for the dock, the dock needs to have the, the Shinobi right on it, and then you need to move the archers down to counter out the the camel archers. And that, that's just it. Like, Yumi just take out camel archers, and then if the camel archers come close, you have everything else. Real ship, archer ship. Speed of ships, survives it. Nice save there with the fishing. It's going to get sniped out a bit here, but B. Now it's two on one if Kiljardi ever turns towards him. Instead, he's sniping out more camels. Not a bad exchange, right? Like, if he kills this Sprinkled Ship, ah, 350 resources. Much easier to kill a camel that costs 240. Now, with the emplacements, this should be where B has to stop on the water, right? Like, there's no way he's going to get past an emplacement. Come on. Enough to see. I don't think he's content. I think he wants more blood. Kiljardi, finally realizing I need a new answer to these camels. He's going to go into horsemen. Makes a lot of sense. Yumi are cheaper, but you're still producing mass wood-based units on a wood-limited line. Right? Like, you're not going to have much runway if you just keep leaning into archers here. I think, actually, by the way, that's a big part of why B went camel archer over archer. Camel archers do cost more wood, but it's fair to say they have a lot more impact than archers comparatively. B now up to eight camel archers. It's kind of wild, actually, that he's just playing raw camel archers at this stage. He has the ability to start going to fishing now, right? So that would enable a further boom, but right now he hasn't bothered with fishing at all. And he also doesn't have a naval arrow slot. Kujadi. Whoa, whoa there, whoa gal, whoa, whoa. Man the sails, man the sails. Oh my god. What? Kill Johnny. No man the sails. He also panic turns around. He loses both of the spring ships and now the camel archers come back around. Archer ships are being queued up here. But immediately... I think he can get swarmed here. B, if he just focus fires it down with the 12 damage on each of these archers. Yeah, this is the problem right now. If you're able to stay away from them, Junk wins. But you don't win if they get that close. Wow. I, I actually can't believe B is still making this game look close. I feel like he just got absolutely annihilated in that early game. Like, this is wild. Remember how this game looked just six minutes ago. If I told you that they're 50-50 at this stage, you'd think I'm a liar. You'd think it's impossible, but B, he's trying to pull a miracle out of a hat here. This camel even going to find good value, right? If he just keeps chasing down. Woink. Yeah, this is where it starts to feel painful. That was kind of sick, by the way. Did you guys see that? His guy turned and shot without him turning the camel. I've never seen that before. I think there's like a very clear animation timing. Kiljardi, remember each of those Shinobi lost is 120 resources as well. That's not a small investment for you. P. He's genuinely just doing camels only. <laughs> what? The, the crazy part is it actually works. Kiljardi needs to target the camels. I actually think it's more value to target camels here than target the naval. Remember, camel archers only have 140 health. And even the undermesh, it's going to be substantial damage incoming. This ship does now arrive. So it looks like Kiljardi is going to stay alive for the moment. But keep in mind, Kiljardi doesn't have fishing anymore, right? It all got sniped down. That's what makes the play into camel archers so smart. As B had an ability to chase fishing no matter where it was. And now B, on a delay, has started to play into fishing himself. Meanwhile, Kiljardi doesn't have any eco inflation, right? He didn't play into the Kura storehouse. He doesn't have these farms for free. He went for Shinobi. He's running out of time here. So he needs to strike at the heart of the Abbasid economy. Army on the march forward. Shinobi, Yumi, and Horsemen moving towards the enemy base here. Also moving upriver with the Navy fleet. Looks like B was being a bit gluttonous. Wait, was B trying to go castle? From this position in this economy? Rogan? Just build more camels, lol. 
Oh, yes. The natural counter to every great fleet in history. Camels! Holy crap. <laughs> well, several of them went down, but I think it was a worthwhile trade for him. He now needs to go back to defend, though, because behind this, Kiljardi is going up into Castle Age. Dives into the base, finds more eco units. Even sabotages the buildings before stepping away here. Kiljardi, like, what is this game? This game is so insane. So what I'm hearing is Camels OP. So we're nerfing Camels, right? <laughs> oh, this game is bonkers. Kujadi, age up complete. He has also got the Daimyo, so there's options available. I wonder if you keep playing Yumi here. Castle Age Yumi with the Bannerman is pretty sick. It's going to be a switch, though. He's going stables. So we are getting into Knights. It's interesting because actually I, I don't think that Mounted Samurai are that great against mass Camel Archers here. Camel Archers have very high base damage, even an age behind. So if B just keeps scaling them and your plan is to go Mount Samurai, I think by the time you gap close, like one by one, you're just going to flop dead. Also remember, like what makes this even worse is those Mounted Samurai now do 20% less damage if they even reach you. See which beast can start reaching in with those camels. Horsemen. Yeah, horsemen don't get hit as hard by that, that debuff aura, right? Instead of losing 20% damage, it's almost like you lose 10% due to your bonus versus ranged. But in these numbers, it, that's just irrelevant. You just die. Yumi also now in trouble. Villagers on the front side of this. Kiljardi needs to garrison the outpost to stay alive. Has got spoons coming. So B will have to back away. I think B has to be considering tech here, right? Like, there's a stage at which Camel Archer just stops working, surely. Surely. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, my God. He doesn't know us. So that's Kiljardi once again reset to practically no fishing. Meanwhile, B still has more. <laughs> B, he's like, wait. No, 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 no. No, we end this game the way I was planning to begin it. It's time for the ram. <laughs> Explosive junk. Oh, if B wasn't looking, maybe. But the problem is Kiljardi is too low HP on the junk now. So, <laughs> just, I have never seen an army so close to death's door, so fervently chase down an explosive ship. You <laughs> want north side? The Mount Samurai have been revealed. Now, the B once again. If he gets enough of these. Kind of, you just kind of don't care that you're against Mount Samurai. I think that's why he's not going to rush this. He's going to keep going into more and more camels. Because the funny reality is, like, Kiljardi, the only way he counters this is by getting loads of archers. And now, to get those archers, he has to walk out into the mid-map for wood. So this is starting to get more dangerous for the eco of Kiljardi, the longer this goes on. This is so silly, though. I can't I can't believe we are... How many minutes now? Has it been, like, three minutes, I want to say? We could easily see B play Feudal Age for the next eight minutes with this build. Demo ship's coming in, by the way. Ram's also hitting into the dark, so these are going down. Now, now Kiljardi can't fight because Yumi get outraged by the archer ships. Knights do not want to walk anywhere near these Daos, no matter how tanky they think they are. And Kiljardi, even if he crawls outposts like this, these are too close to the shore. Not to mention the fact there are now rams. Let's be in that outpost. B, he sees it. Kiljardi has to back away before he can complete it here. Demo. Oh! Just in time. No, no. Bad spiral ship. Bad. Leave. Leave faster. Leave faster! Oh, that's another dead one. Demo ship. Not able to find the Yumi here, but if he baits him in, B, Micro at right. Micro at so right right now. Okay, kill Johnny C's. If he took the other demo and went in range, that's the entire Yumi army dead. Yumi, they only have 70 HP here. And here we go, dive in. No! Oh! Oh no! I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe that worked. Oh my. 
Kiljani just lost his only counter to mass camel arches. Oh my god. And B is now adding in an extra TC. He's not rushing it still. He has 23 camel arches. B needs to wall himself in. <gasps> Can he do it? It's going to be tight. It's going to be hard. Nope, 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 nope. But, but, but. We can build gates. There are ways. <laughs> I just don't think they're going to work. Oh my god. Just one samurai gets in. And guess what? The rest are coming around the backside. But camels have arrived. They say, get off my lawn. Kutani says, what lawn? We, we live in a desert here. Get off my lawn. <laughs> And chugga chugga choo choo, camels coming through. 26 camel arches. This game, I don't even know what to put for a thumbnail on this one. This is an incredible game. The boar sniping fishing, the demo ship play. Oh. What more could you want? How about several more minutes of this at least? Camel archers just everywhere at this stage. B just has so many of them. Kiljani, he's getting level two ranged armor. He's going into the wedge rivets, but even then the issue is no touchy, right? I, I feel you need horsemen here. Like the more you do not build a horseman, the worse this gets. I, it feels like B is trying to teach Kiljardi a lesson about why Mountain Samurai aren't the answer. And oh my god. What is it with this one spot? Boar, boom ship, camels. Every single piece of Kiljardi's eco has died on this screen. I can't believe this. <laughs> one second. B. He activates the spotlight. He shines the giant camel signal into the sky. The vigilantes are on their way. And Kiljardi apparently didn't even notice they left. <laughs> oh no. Well, goodbye to your mountain samurai again. Kiljardi gets baited to coming even closer. That means he's going to die even faster. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. This is so stupid, yet so simultaneously fantastic. I just can't believe this game. He's cleaning up, man. Kiljardi. It's mainly just a small group of Yumi at this stage. He has gone for a second TC. But the wood's running out again. And Big Papa Ram is coming. B has to tech up, right? Like, there's no way he plays feudal much longer. Like it's been has it been ten minutes now? I think it's almost been ten minutes of feudal age behind his opponent. He's saving up. It, it's time, guys. We've done it. <laughs> we found a way out. Culture wing on the way. Thirty three camel arches is apparently the threshold. That plus a almost thirty eco lead. I dive towards the TC here. He's gonna dive past. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 21 villages. We're gonna have to 21 jump street out of here real fast. Villages being sniped down. Camel Arches now in the choke point versus the melee. They back away. B finding more eco damage here while teching it up at home. I don't know what Kiljani's meant to do against this anymore. I think we're, we're far past the point of return now. I mean, the one edge he had for a very long time was, was Castle versus Feudal, but that's gone. Also, keep in mind the fishing that he couldn't complete. B's here to do it for him. This one screen essentially has everything you need to know about this game in it. You, know, you could argue this part mattered as well, but that was for Kiljani winning the game. Everything for B winning the game happened here. Absolutely incredible. You know, this is why we need more players like B, 
Don Arty. These kill Jardy as well, actually. These wild players, right? You've got players who are, are, are chasing the order of things, the meta, the one or two percent leads. And then you have this. <laughs> Finally, at 25 and a half minutes, B is going to reach Castle Age. And I think it's going to be a very quick upgrade. The quickest we will ever have seen someone after Castle Age click an upgrade for Camel Arches. Doesn't even wait for Pock. Incredible game. Oh yes, the Vashu, uh, Vastu rather, Shatsara that says the certain directions, locations affect your success. Yeah. No. <laughs> Where there is ball, there is hope. We trust in Pumba. Holy shamok. Camels going to back away here. They're waiting on that upgrade. And Kiljani knows it as well, dude. You can tell he already senses it's coming. When B turns around, it's all but inevitable here. A few seconds early, but there it is. Giga Chad Camels are operational. Lancers have also been added in. Onamusha, a smart call by Kiljani, but against this many Camel Archers, you're dead. <laughs> and the Onamusha just have no leg to stand on. A 20% damage reduction. Not to mention they're already behind on the damage and health. Camels with double the pool available to Onamusha. I think that's Onosmusha in this one. Just too many calf units, man. I like how B began this game by building infantry. And he was like, infantry are lame. Builds calf instead. <laughs> Well, Kiljardi, it's been a fun one, my friend. You've been part of an incredible game. But I think we've reached the limits of what the Japanese can come back from. I mean, to be honest, every great comeback I've seen from a Japanese player has involved a Rax. And uh, clearly, because Kiljardi has not built a single Rax, this game is beyond him. Those are the rules, I'm afraid. Can make one more attempt to this. It's just so. I mean, like, <sighs> by the time you kill the lancers, all of your front line is dead, right? And if it's just a camel versus an Onimusha, in theory, Onimusha wins you to their range, but I just don't see you keeping that distance anytime here. Also, remember, like, Kill Johnny's running out of food, right? Um, he's got the farm transition, and what I mean by running out of food is although that's permanent. It's limited in terms of room. So he can only have, like, in range of this TC, maximum if he deletes a few buildings, probably like, maybe you crack 30 farms if you're lucky. Because he's so close to the edge of the map, look how much of this is cut off already. Still, Kiljardi believes. Maybe it's just cold hard delusion at this stage. It feels that way. I think the entire army's gonna die this time. B moves in. Mount Samurai are going to get completely cleared up. Onimusha have been reduced to zero. And Kiljani is going to breathe his last hit. Zero army left standing. Still 20 Camel Archers and now 14 Lancers to fight. There is just simply no comeback from this. It's too far gone. In fact, I think, yeah, he's even losing villagers over here to outpost this deep end of the game. Great game out of B. Kiljani, he shut this down perfectly in the early game, but my oh my, what a strategy out of B to recover this. Big shout out to Silent Aki coming in with sub. I appreciate you. I appreciate everyone uh, subscribed. If you haven't, but you have got your hands on an Amazon Prime, be sure to drop it across on my Twitch channel. And if you have not subscribed to YouTube yet, what the hell are you waiting for? If you want to see more games like this, this is the number one place to do so. So make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you're commenting both on Twitch and YouTube to be part of the moment. And I'm sure we are going to be seeing much more of these two. An absolute thrill to witness both of them in action. But Kiljardi... Shake of the hand. It has been a pleasure, my friend.
But I think it's time for you to get out of this game. And yeah, Samurai wouldn't solve this problem. Samurai would just get kited by Camel Archers. Also, crazy thing for you. This might be the ultimate counter to pretty much anything Japanese want to do. Because if you go for the Onibugisha, they have bonus damage versus light. They are a much harder hitting archer. So that doesn't work either. And oh my dear god, they're all dead. Oh. Even textiles and yet no mercy. B. What a bloody game. You know, this might be one of my favorite on canal. Definitely top three that I've seen the entirety of this expansion. But you know what? Still got plenty more to see. I'll see you all in the next one.